What's up everyone? Welcome to our channel and today inshallah I'm going to share with you my convert story, my journey and how I become Muslim. Okay, my religious background is born again Christian. Although growing up, I was also um, I also attended some Christian sect uh, which are Methodist, uh, Roman Catholic and Aglipay like when I was younger. But most of my religious belief is based on born again Christian, and in our place, uh, because I I'm I'm living in the north part of the Philippines, and most of the Muslims they are living on the south part of the Philippines. Okay, and um, how did I come here in UAE? Actually, it's quite a bit uh, it's quite a bit interesting because I thought it's really meant for me uh, because. Um, when I applied for this uh, job online, uh, I wasn't really that serious. You know, I have work in the Philippines and I'm not really actively looking for a job. I remember I was in the computer shop and uh, something popped up and I just uh, filled up that form, not really serious about it. I just filled that one and after two weeks or so, I received a call. Uh, they said that I have an interview, but you know, I, I used to work as a sales uh, person in the Philippines and that was the December and you know when you're a salesman there is a uh, you know um, Sales target that you need to that you need to achieve at the end of the year and I was very serious. I was very busy at the time uh, I did the interview twice. They called me. I did not come. They called me again. I did not come and I didn't even like bother to to apologize for not coming. Oh my god! Uh, so on the third on the third time, okay. When I see the number, I thought, okay, this is really embarrassing. So I thought, I I, I will I will come this time. I will come this time, and uh, for sure they're not going to hire me, you know, because of that attitude. But anyway, um, they called me and they said, um, they asked me if I can come on this day. I so I, I remember at that time I told them that I cannot, my only available time is Sunday. And they said Sunday, uh, they said that they're going to wait for me and uh, they're, we're going to have the, the interview, finally. Yeah. So it's my first time to meet an Arab man. Um, he's not wearing kundura or the thobe or the, you know, like uh, the, the cover and the hair. The head, nothing. It's just wearing a casual uh, pants, jeans. And a white polo shirt, you know. So the inter, I was really that serious in the interview. Um, I was confident because I thought that uh, I just went there for respect, you know. I'm, I'm not really go there. I did not really go there for. Um, I did not go there for really like I need to pass this one. This interview. I don't have that uh, mindset. I thought that they're not going to uh, hire me. Surprisingly, after a week or so, they called me, they said that I am hired and I will fly to Dubai very soon. So at the time that was December, there are holidays and it's not only me, there are other eight Filipino medical representative that were also hired. And I think the, uh, yeah, a first week of February, we just finished one, one month, like uh, January. So the first week of February, right away, we flew to Dubai. So... So that's the start. So I was, uh, since my religious background is born again Christian, uh, two of my colleagues, uh, they were also born again Christians. So we were really like hunting uh, if there are like Bible study around uh, churches. So this is the first thing that we, you know, that we look for. So there are, there are Filipinos at the time uh, in Dubai. There are a lot of Filipinos. So we just asked and yeah, we found uh, we found the one here in St. Mary's and uh, there are like all, uh, all this all this uh, sect of Christianity. There are Catholic, there are born again. Uh, there are different kinds of uh, Christian um, sect uh, in that place. So yes, yeah, so we attended this uh, church and yes, of course, we started working also. So it's not only us who's working in that company. There are also other nationalities and they hired also after that other nationalities. So basically we are mixed nationalities and um, mixed uh, religious background. There are Christians and there are Muslims also. So one afternoon, like uh, while we are having a uh, coffee break, I don't know. 
how exactly the conversation goes. Uh, but um, I think I was, um, we were talking about like additional day off. I made a statement and it goes like this. Uh, even God, who is, uh, who, even God, when he created the heaven and the earth and everything in it, he rested on the seventh day. That's why we have Sabbath day and we go to the church on the seventh day because God rested on that day. Okay, come on. Eh? It's, it's a big creation. Even God needs to take rest. Yeah, I, I, that is my, the first, this is the first of everything. One of my colleagues here responded in a very annoying, tasteful way. He's like, he responded to me like, oh. He laughed aloud and he pointed his finger in my face like he's really teasing me. And he said, what? Your God rested? And he like, come on, God's supposed to, supposed, to, supposed to be not resting or not sleepy. He is God, come on. Like, and then he laughed. I know my logical thinking, he is correct. You know, but I feel bad, you know, this, uh, I feel really bad when he say that and I was really offended the way he do it. And uh, he, he's saying like he slapped me with the truth, you know, I know logically it should not, he is correct. Plus, the way he speak, the way he delivered those words is really annoying. So I was really checkmate. I don't know what to tell him back. Like. Uh, I just remember I told him that it's in the Bible and the Bible is the word of God and it could not be, you know, uh, there is no way that it's wrong. It's in the Bible. I told him like, even if I will show you right now, it's in the Genesis. We know it very well. All born again Christian knows very well that on the seventh day, God rested. I know it very well. Born again Christian, they know the Bible more than the Catholic because if you're going to see the Catholic going to the church, nobody bring a Bible, you know. But for the for the born again Christians, they go to the church because every now and then they are reading the Bible, you know. When when the pastor is preaching, every now and then they are reading, so they know very well that it is there. God rested on the seventh day. So I don't remember exactly how the conversation ends, but I know for a fact because I have this character that um, when I got offended or when I uh, get into, when I get myself into that kind of like uh, debate, I'm going to do something to avenge. Uh, so I told myself that um, I'm go one day I'm, go I'm, I'm going to find something and I'll do the same to you, you know, something like that. So, so my, my, my arrogance side, you know, it's just uh, telling me to, to do something, to find something, uh, so that I can I can set up like one day and to get back to him. So basically, I did not look. I don't look into Islam. I don't look into. I don't research anything about Islam or Muslims. I checked on my Bible. I checked on the Bible. Where did the Bible came from? Who put together the books of the Bible? And I read some history of the Bible. So uh, the more I checked into the Bible, the more I'm feeling like, uh, because I have this um, logical, logically thinking that I know that God's word should not be altered. Nobody has the right to remove or change because it's word of God. You know, it's like, even if you are a king, my logical thinking is saying that you don't have the right because you're just a human being and God is divine. What's his word is his word. And it should not be, it should not change, you know, no matter what. But the more I'm reading, you know, the Christians, they know this, that there are previous books, 14 books, uh, 14 books like, uh, like um, Isaiah or Proverbs or John or this kind of book, you know, there are 14 of them that were included before but they were removed later on and the explanation is that they don't fit on the religious belief 
you know you just um you can check now um you can check now the history of the bible and you may check like uh, what are the books that were deleted from the uh, earlier bible you know this information and uh, you can check also what are they what is the explanation okay when it, when you are a born again christian and you have faith okay you are blind to the logical uh, whatever is the what whatever is logically um how can i say this one whatever is logical you don't accept you always turn into your faith and you will accept whatever it is and i thought there's something in me that i'm saying these people are just people they don't have the right you know so my 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 brain structure is different it's like our basis of religion is the bible and if the bible is wrong they should do something you know it's it's like this is this is wrong you know we have to find the truth so while i am doing this of course the work continues and the interaction with my colleagues are uh, continues okay so i have this colleague of mine she's uh, she's a muslim she's from syria and uh, good thing she's a practicing muslim you know uh actually whenever she prays uh, she prays uh, near to near to my workstation i feel like um it's it's always coming back to me you know the 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 muslim the the people in the in the olden days you know during the lenten season um they are showing movies from you know from this uh, the bible stories like jesus uh, like uh, moses you know and how are the ladies they are praying how the people they are praying so whenever she prays it's like coming back to me this is beautiful you know um there's something in me that i feel jealous or in in a positive way you know i i wish that we have this one and uh i felt that this is more this is familiar to me rather than uh how the christians are doing the worship like they are jumping they are there i don't think that there is nothing wrong with that with joy but uh whenever i i am just comparing what i see on tv uh, the previous uh, how the people of god are uh, and the prophet of god are you know worshiping him this is how they are worshiping him so i felt like um yeah i am pleased to see her it's like that so still i'm not looking about muslim or islam because uh i don't see except for this lady she's practicing muslim but like 90 percent of the muslims around me at that time um the, their character or uh, there's nothing in them that will let me to look into islam you know? uh, not going to give more detail about that so it's like really subhanallah it's a uh, allah guides whom he wills you know even if you are in the middle of of you know people that are uh, far from from god if he wants you to if he choose to 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 let you to follow him to know him there's no impossible so what happens to me my arrogance and this character of mine that i will look something i will look something i will get back to him this one led me to islam so when i when i when i finally realized that I cannot I cannot depend on Bible so maybe if I will open you know a debate or anything an argument about the Bible you will get back to me with this with this uh, with this information that I read in the internet about the Bible oh, so I said I will look into Islam I will look into the Muslim what do they believe and why they are like this for sure it's that the religion is not teaching this teaching that and they are doing like this so this is the best tool this is the best weapon that i can use against him like 
this is what they are teaching you this is what you are following so so i'm really like um okay i'm going i'm going to look into islam because their action is like this so yeah for sure i'm going to win this you know so well i started with uh, what do muslim believe when i checked on this one i was shocked in this belief because uh, they believe the same prophets as we believe as christians they believe in adam and eve abraham moses Noah, noah uh, they call it Nuh in arabic oh Suleiman, solomon you know john yahya uh, jesus isa you know we have the same we have the same so i was really they believe also you know and i realized also that they believe in jesus jesus is the messiah and they believe that oh uh, they believe that uh, jesus is uh, doesn't have a father uh, god you know give his word and with the word become flesh become a human which is jesus and they believe that uh, jesus made made miracle he bring people dead people back to life uh, he healed the leper you know the blind people to see in all this one they believe so uh, what else is the common that uh, god is sending messages prophets in every generation not every generation but periodically you know sometimes after 200 years sometimes after 1000 years only god knows best you know god knows best so but i mean he is sending a warner or messenger to the people like in every periodically you know every period like the the, the people of noah in this generation the people of moses in this generation the people of like this one in this generation the people of jesus in his generation and uh, the only thing that is uh, different for us Christian, we worship Jesus and we we are considering him as God you know and uh, he is the God the Son he is also the God the Father he is also the God of the Holy Spirit he is he is the God you know? uh then i when i read about this one and you know the muslims they believe also in the angels the the heaven and earth uh the, sorry the heaven and the the hell you know? and they believe also the previous books uh the the torah which is the old testament uh the psalms uh there are also like books given to jesus which is the gospel so all this one we are all the same you know the only thing that is different is that what I said that they consider Jesus as as a messenger as a servant of God and not the son of God and you know when you are a born-again Christian you cannot accept that there's no way that you will accept that you will go back to your to your faith and uh, you know you will you will you will go back to the Bible and say all these verses from the Bible such as uh, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can go to the Father but by me. You know, we will give that as a um, as an argument. You know, for whoever will say that Jesus is not God. Then I read more and more. I uh, I, re I I read also about the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the miracles of the Quran, and. Um, this one captured my attention my heart my brain logically uh, i've uh, i've known that uh, the quran is uh, you know is, is revealed was revealed sorry 1400 years ago compared to the modern established science now the quran has a lot of miracles a lot of the statement that is consistent to the science right now uh, for example the the embryology which is a very popular 
the formation of the baby in the womb of the mother. Remember that Quran is 1,400 years ago and the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is illiterate man. He cannot read, he cannot write, right? And there is no way that he knows this, which is only known uh, when the telescope was discovered less than a hundred years ago. And Quran was revealed 1,400 years ago, yeah? So, uh, embryology, the, the pain receptor in the body, which is the skin, it's just recent that the, the medical science, uh, they've discovered that our body, they have skin, they have pain receptor, which is the skin. A lot. Uh, number three, um, the the mountains, how they were, they, how they are uh, made, you know. So compared also to the to the to the science that they've known, it is mentioned in the Quran, and it is uh, it is just known in the science. And this year, you know, the universe is expanding. How the universe started, uh, the orbits of the sun, the orbits of the the earth night and day you know that the the moon is just emitting the uh, uh, emitting light from the Sun uh, two uh, two oceans one salty one sweet uh, in one ocean they don't meet they don't meet it's also in the Quran how Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him knows all this one there are a lot you know I cannot uh, remember all now there are a lot aside from this one there are also like mathematical uh, miracles in the Quran we call it miracles because it is mentioned there but it's only established uh, but it's also known in science you know less than a hundred years so uh, how could Prophet Muhammad know all this you know and there are there is also a challenge in the Quran that um, you can uh, like, like produce uh, a surah or a chapter you know like it and uh, it's a challenge you know like produce once if you don't believe it's a challenge for the non non-believer if you have a doubt with the book that we revealed to our we revealed to our prophet uh, to, the, to our messenger which is a uh, prophet Muhammad peace be upon him produce a surah or a, pro or a, a chapter like it and call all your um, witnesses besides God if you are truthful like for sure you cannot produce it's like a challenge for the for the for the mankind you know and this challenge is standing for 1400 years and nobody can do it and you know the shortest chapter in the Quran is only three sentences and uh, at this at this time of my research I did not read the Quran yet I'm just you know reading the pamphlets and uh, you know something from the internet the conversation now the flow of the conversation now during our break time has changed you know i have a lot of questions now with uh, with my colleague uh, because she, she, i'm training her and she's always with me we're always together even when we go out after work we go out we're always talking about this i have a lot of questions and she's like patiently explaining to me everything um, like uh, I'm very interested because Christian and uh, Muslim we are almost the same except for that part you know uh, so all these questions like if I'm going back to the Bible it make more sense to me I understood the Bible uh, more when I uh, when I hear this information from Islam you know like like what I said before, uh, that Jesus said that there is no way, the truth and the life, except for him. Like if you will not, if you will not believe in him, you will not be saved. So I understood later on that yeah, God is sending prophets, messenger, period by period. You know, so therefore, in the period of Moses, for example. No one will go to heaven, no one will be saved if they don't believe to Moses. The same thing 
that when God sent Noah, Noah to make the ark, and he's always saying that change, uh, to, to believe in God, to believe in one God, and the people, they don't believe. You know, so he is also the way, the truth, and the life, and so forth. And the other, uh, the other messengers also. Hey, my friends, this did not happen like 24 hours or one week or what one. This, this contemplation, this uh, like convincing to myself, you know, when you want to believe on something, but your heart, they don't want to let go. You know what I'm saying? It's like your mind is saying this more makes sense. Uh, this one is the is the truth. They are proof. There are numbers of proof that this is the truth. Something in you doesn't want to let go of uh, your previous belief. Like you feel that you are sinning. That the struggle lasted for more or less one year. You know, and I'm just asking like question to this lady. I'm just reading just to convince myself more. Uh, and uh, I feel that if I'm going to remember now, I felt that I want to, but I don't know how to, uh, I don't know how to explain exactly. It's like, but how can I leave this? You know, that, uh, that struggle. So, what really made my mind and really, uh, you know, like, really surrender to this was when I read the Quran, finally. So, when I read the Surah Al-Baqarah, this is my end. You know, it's like, um i'm as if this is my experience you know it's this is my experience i'm not saying that when you read this you will have the same experience but um before i even reached to the chapter sorry to the verse 20 of surah al-baqarah my eyes they are like this from crying they are very small like i cried i cried all my heart out I felt that I was so sorry for being late because my struggle lasted for almost a year. I don't want to accept it because uh, I was worried about what people would tell me and I, I don't know how to how was the transition from being born again to Islam, you know, it's a big step, it's a big change for me so yeah uh, finally I, I cried a lot I remember that um, I just surrender I'm like finished and I remember I I I make the sujud I don't know how to pray but I make the sujud and I prayed on my while well, I am on that position and I felt that I felt so good I've never felt so good that like I never felt so good that much in my whole life, you know. So um, then I, I informed my my colleague the next day that I want to take uh, I want to make the I want to take the shahada as soon as possible. So they gave me instruction like to to shower and all this one. So Alhamdulillah, I took the shahada and uh, yes, that is. Um, in July 2009, I become a Muslim, and I did not stop there. The journey did not stop there. I uh, went to this uh, Islamic center to learn about, uh, to learn to to memorize the Quran, and to learn more about the Prophet. So I more or less I uh, went to the Islamic center for six months, and uh, yeah, and uh, here I am today. I am a Muslim. I am a part of the 1.8 billion Muslims around the world. Like, I feel honored and uh, grateful 
that uh, for all millions of people who come here in the Middle East. So that's my story and how I convert to Islam. And uh, yes, I am part of the 1.8 billion Muslims around the world. And uh, yes, I would like to greet my brothers and sisters in the Islam. Assalamu alaikum, rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And inshallah, Allah uh, give us uh, more knowledge, uh, more strength to you know, to hold in this one uh, group, uh, Islam, in the Quran. So inshallah, Allah make it easy for us uh, to live in this uh, difficult um, test, which is the life. Thank you guys for staying with me and watching this video. Please click subscribe. It means the world to us. And I would like to leave you all with the greetings. Assalamu alaikum, rahmatullahi. Wa barakatuh.